Copyright Disclaimer. Citation of articles and authors in this report does not imply ownership. Works and images presented here fall under Fair Use Section 107 and are used for commentary on globally significant newsworthy events. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Community Guidelines Disclaimer. The points of view and purpose of this video is not to bully or harass anyone, but rather share that opinion and thoughts with other like-minded individuals curious about the subject. Hello, you see you family members and comic heads out there. This is your friendly host, Ninjeta Kage of United Comics Universe, bringing you all this comic excitement. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Flag Smasher, Guy Theroux. Once we hit that 500 subscriber mark, we'll be giving away a Nick Fury Pop, but you better not call him Nick. And once we reach that 5,000 subscriber mark, we will be giving away a PlayStation 4 or 5. It'll be your choice when the time comes. In order to be a winner of these awesome prizes here at the channel, all you have to do is comic smash that subscribe button, then comic punch that notification bell so you can get notified when we go live and upload a video. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome to your United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures, we are comics. We are movies, we are television, we are the pages in your books, and we are comics. Now let's get into your comic excitement. Okay, so now for the second Flag Smasher. This information is also courtesy of comicvine.gamespot.com. So his name is still Flag Smasher, but he is the Theralt Flag Smasher. His real name is Guy Theralt, he's from Canada. His creators were Zeb Wells and Stefano Casali, and he is also a human male. His first appearance was in Civil War, Young Avengers, and Runaways number one, and he appears in 28 issues. He died in Deadpool number 43 after MASH. His powers, not really powers, but you know, he's not superhuman, so. They include gadgets, leadership, unarmed combat, and he is also a weapons master. Here is his origin. He was born and raised somewhere in Canada. Guy Theroult joined Ultimatum at some point in his life, we don't really know when. Following the original Flag Smasher's death, he assumed the mantle as well as the role of head of Ultimatum, employing terrorist tactics to further the anti-nationalistic agenda of his group. Major Story Arcs Civil War Espousing both anti-registration and anti-government views, Flag Smasher comes into conflict with the Runaways, who quickly defeat him but fail to ensure he is taken into custody. Later, he attacks a farmer's market after being challenged by registration-enforcing S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who were suspicious of his above-average build and large duffel bag. Fighting the agents, he nearly defeats them before being confronted by the Runaways, who again subdue him. He is then taken into custody. Terrorist Escaping custody, Flag Smasher travels to New York. There he comes across Spider-Girl, whom he attacks. She is saved by Spider-Man, and Flag Smasher flees after being defeated. He soon develops contacts in Hydra, and the group begins providing ultimatum with funding as well as weaponry. Thus armed, he takes a number of agents to Philadelphia, where they intend to destroy the Liberty Bell. They are confronted by the Libertines, and his team are quickly defeated. He attempts to flee, but is taken into custody by Miss America. Again escaping custody, he returns to New York, where he attacks a recruitment station. He is challenged by Nomad, who almost defeats him before he endangers the lives of a number of citizens, necessitating that Nomad allow him to escape in order to rescue the civilians. His flight attempt is cut short by Falcon, who subdues him. He is then imprisoned. Venom. Having escaped from custody yet again, Flag Smasher abducts a Middle Eastern banker with the assistance of a number of Ultimatum agents. They are attacked by Venom, who kills most of the Ultimatum agents. Venom spares Flag Smasher, but bites off the villain's right arm. Later, Flag Smasher acquires a bionic arm and returns to Manhattan to wreak havoc. His attempt to blow up City Hall is stopped by the Avengers and Frogman. Death. Theralt is later killed by an ultimatum agent named Carl, who declares himself the new Flag Smasher. Powers and Abilities Flag Smasher has no known superhuman abilities. 
He is in excellent physical condition and a capable hand-to-hand -hand fighter, as well as displaying proficiency with weaponry. He is a competent leader and has been shown to have a gift for escape. Equipment and Weapons Flag Smasher wears an exoskeleton that greatly enhances his strength, as well as jet boots that allow for flight. He carries a large spiked mace as a weapon and has also used a flamethrowing pistol. Now, keep in mind that the Carl that took over the Flag Smasher title this time is not the same as the original Carl who is now dead. Their names are actually spelled differently. The first one was a K, this one is spelled with a C. This new version of Flag Smasher met his untimely end when he attempted to achieve vengeance against Deadpool for blowing up their helicarrier, which is never a good idea. Deadpool slaughtered him and all of his people, so he was very short-lived. So, are you guys hype about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? I know I am! Use your comic words and put them down below to let us know. And I just wanted to take a moment and to say this to the fans out there. You know, it doesn't matter if you're Marvel, DC, Images, Dark Horse, etc. Please remember, fans, that this is all for fun, so there's no need to take it too far. These comic book movies and TV shows are also fan-created, they're just on a higher scale. We can finally watch our favorite comic book characters that we have grown up loving and reading and all about their life and their adventures. So please remember, this is all fun, it's not real. Please be sure to give us a like up, but the most important thing is to share, share, share. This is the only way we can get around the YouTube censorship, so please share the video! Also, hit us up on Rumble, Instagram, Twitter, Parlor, Facebook, and Twitch. Please support us on Patreon or PagePal. All the links are down below, and your support is very much appreciated, and it helps us continue to put up these awesome videos for you. We are comics. Catch you superheroes and villains another time.